there's a principle in mathematics called the conservation of measure, which says that if you have a solid shape, say here I have a cube, and you apply rigid motions, so translating or rotating the shape, then the, the volume of the shape doesn't change as you do that. And furthermore, that's true even if you divide the shape into finitely many pieces and apply those rigid motions to those pieces separately, then the total volume still doesn't change. Um, but there's another principle that we have in mathematics called the axiom of choice. And the axiom of choice has a remarkable consequence uh, called the Bonnach-Tarski paradox. And what the Bonnach-Tarski paradox says is that you can divide the unit ball in three space into finitely many pieces. And if you do it very carefully and divide those pieces into two groups, like here I've divided the cube into two groups of pieces, then it's possible by applying rigid motions to those pieces to form the entire unit ball again. So here you can see I've made the whole unit cube out of just one group of pieces. And now by applying more rigid motions to the other group of pieces, I can make a second unit cube. And there you have it, the Bonnach-Tarski paradox. From one cube, I made two.